Hi everyone, Julia here. Welcome to this e-commerce tutorial. Today, I'm going to share with you some very important tips on how to improve your customer browsing experience. If you're new to selling online, stick with me. This tutorial is for you. And if you haven't figured out where to set up your store just yet, you'll definitely want to consider Shopify. So I'm going to leave a free trial link down in the description if you want to test it out. Selling is all about easy access. Let me start by asking you this. Have you ever walked into a store looking for something specific only to leave empty handed because you couldn't find it? Well, the same thing can happen to your customers when they're shopping online. When your customers come to your website, they want to find what they're looking for quickly and easily. So let me show you how to get started. First of all, you need to have a clear and simple navigation menu that's easy to use. Start by creating groups or collections of similar items. This will help you determine the main categories you need to include in your navigation menu. If you need help setting up collections in Shopify, I'll drop a link to another video that will guide you through the process. The next step is to keep your navigation menu simple. Don't overwhelm your customers with too many options. Instead, stick to the main categories that are most important to your business. However, if you're selling clothes, you'll know that your catalog can be quite diverse and complex. So the best idea might be to create a mega menu or what is called a drop down menu inside Shopify. They're a very smart design choice when you need to showcase a significant number of options. For example, if you have a men's category, you might have subcategories like shirts, pants and shoes. If you have an outerwear category, you might have subcategories like jackets, hoodies and coats. And while this is a great idea, also remember to use it sparingly. If you go too crazy with subcategories, you might create the opposite effect than what you intended. And this again could leave your customers confused and frustrated. So keep in mind, it's all about the balance. The language you use in your navigation menu is also important. Use clear and concise words that your customers will understand. Don't get too industry specific, just keep it simple, straight to the point and stay consistent throughout your website. Okay, so we've covered the basics of a main menu, but before we can finish, footer menus are just as important. This can include links to your company information, such as about us, contact us and FAQs. And they can also include links to your social media accounts. Here's also where you want to link any important policies such as shipping and returns and also any data protection policies. If you want to go beyond, you could even use the footer menu to highlight any promotions or special offers you have going on. This could be a link to a sale page or maybe a special discount code. I'll leave a video in the description to help you create those. If this guide was helpful to you, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them down in the comments. If you haven't decided where to set up your store just yet, you'll also find a free trial link to Shopify down in the description, along with some great resources to help you get started. And of course, if you're looking for more tips on how to set up your online business for success, I invite you to subscribe to the channel where I'll be sharing tons of helpful tutorials from zero to expert level. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.